since I was cognizant, I knew I wanted to work with animals. I always loved animals my whole life, and when I was a um, when I was doing my undergrad in college, I uh, decided to start Animal Adventures, which is a um, educational animal show, and it was really just a hobby, and that was until I graduated and pursued it full time. The show that I do is unlike any other animal show that you'll see. It's interspersed with magic. There's a lot of humor in it for children and adults, so it's very different. It's a 45-50 minute show featuring 10 to 12 animals that I'll bring. They're all kept in my backyard. The backyard has one main building, which is a guest house. And there's a second smaller building for them also. And it all has heating and air conditioning. We have two wallabies, I have two monkeys, a baby porcupine, a South American raccoon, a ring-tailed lemur, hedgehogs, an Egyptian fruit bat, two big Burmese pythons, a kookaburra, parrot, and um, a Barbary falcon, owl, a little bit of everything. As I've done this, I've found that the animal rights groups, they, um, they really don't like <laughs> what I have to do, and they always seem to have something to say, and the only reason for that, in my opinion, is that they don't understand what is humane and what's not humane. I think a lot of that branches off from the fact that many of the people they hire to be spokespeople for them do not have any degrees in biology or zoology. And I think it can be dangerous because members of the public will hear and actually listen to what they have to say when they get on these platforms and they don't realize that these people are not qualified to be making judgments against anyone. It was really a calling. I mean, when you know you, you're put on this earth to do something, you'll make sure it's done. You'll follow your own path and make your own path. 